Hey everybody, I'm Ken Brandt and I'm an artist. In this video, we're, I'm going to show you how I set up a still life. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a little road trip and we're going to go get the items that I'm going to use for this painting. And it's going to be donuts. So sit back, enjoy the ride, and we'll come right back and we'll, I'll show you how I set up my still life before I paint it. So I'm on my way to get some Paula's donuts. Donuts for a painting! Paula's Donut. After you. Man, it smells good in here. Oh, yeah. There's the bad boys right there. No. Those guys. Such goodness. Yeah, so I am going to do a still life painting of donuts. And I'm going to use Paula's donuts. Yes, so I need half a dozen donuts. Three of them will be the chocolate frosted angel cream. And then two will be the strawberry shortcake. And then one will be that peanut with the cream in it. Okay. Is there anything else in today? That'll be it. $7. Now let's say after I do the painting, is there a person I could talk to? Like say I wanted to bring the painting in and put it up. Somebody could so somebody could buy it. Uh, right here, um, name a number down a peanut, and give it to you. my manager. Uh, okay. We have, peanuts, we have a few peanut sticks left. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Look at those! Awesome! We got the donuts for the painting. We got the donuts for the painting. Okay, so we have our donuts, so now we just have to figure out how we want to set this up. So let's do that. All right, so I have this stand right here. Um, it's kind of like a, I don't know, it was used for a flower pot or something. And I think that this would be a perfect stand to use to put our donuts on, and then we can, um, you know, arrange them in such a way and figure out what our backdrop is going to be so that way um, we can make an interesting painting. So I'm looking at this yummy donut right here. This yummy Paula's donut. And you know, I'm looking at the colors of the donut. We got the light brown, we got the dark chocolate, we got the white cream. And 
So do we want a light background or a dark background? So that's really kind of the, you know, the question I always ask myself when I'm setting up my still life. Based on what it is that I'm putting in the still life will determine what kind of a background I want to put on it. Do I want to put a light colored background? If it's a darker object, um, I might go with a light colored background. If it's a lighter object, then I would go the other way. Um, only because I really want to um, enhance the contrast in my still life because that's what I want to paint. I want to paint those, those contrasting, uh, the lights and the darks um, because that makes for a more interesting painting. So I think I'm going to go with a darker background. I, I'm going to utilize the lighter colors of the donut um, so that way um, I think it'll be a, a more interesting setup. So I have these lamp, uh, these light stands and uh, they're, they're you know like a tripod type of setup and um, I'm going to use these to support the uh, background um, that is going to be behind the donuts and I'll show you how I'm going to do that right now. So basically I have two stands, two light stands and I set them up so they're exactly the same height and this will, um, what I'll do is I'll take uh, my fabric and I'll actually drape that over the top of these and then this that will drape down onto the uh, platform that I'm going to be setting the donuts onto. So what I have here is I have one light stand here, I have one here, they're both set at the well, roughly around the same height. I got my base right here in front and what I'll do is I'll take my fabric and I'll put that on this and drape it up over here and then we'll use this for our, uh, to set up our donuts. So you can see what I've done here. I've taken my fabric, it's draped over the uh, top of the light stands and I have it on my uh, surface of my base here and then we can set our donuts right here and this will be our area of interest for our setup. So I have my donuts kind of situated the way, you know, the way I'm, I'm thinking I would like them to be. That doesn't necessarily mean that's how they're going to stay for my uh, setup. It just, I'm just figuring out a way to set them, you know, that looks interesting. Um, but this isn't what the end of the setup. What we have to do now is we have to put some light on it because uh, we need to really bring out the contrasting colors and lighting is what the best way we'll do that. So let's get some lighting uh, set up and we'll shine it on these donuts and see if we can make these donuts look more interesting than just just donuts. So for my lighting what I like to use is I have a light stand and then I have a light set up right here that go sits right on right on the stand and I can direct it in pretty much any direction, move it around uh, onto my subject matter to make it look as interesting as I can make it look. And uh, we may not even go with this light. I may find that this this just isn't going to make it look the way I want it to look or the way I would like my painting to look, the, you know, with the ideas that I have in my head. So I may change it to, you know, I might go with a flashlight. I may uh, uh, see how the, um, the light in the room looks on its own and maybe you know whatever's going to really make the painting the most interesting because would somebody be interested in just painting a donuts um, or you know is, is that is that why somebody would buy this painting it's because it's of donuts or are they going to buy this painting because it's a beautiful painting with a lot of interest and contrast and uh, lighting effects you know um, that just happens to be of donuts. So I think that is the, what we want, what we're trying to achieve when we set up our still lifes, you know, because when you're putting things in your still life, they're things. And do you want to do just painting of things? There's a million paintings out there of things. Um, so like when somebody, for example, somebody walks into a gallery and they look and, they, and you know, there's a lot of paintings on the walls that you know they, they've come to look at. What is going to draw their attention to your painting? 
is it going to be because it's a painting of donuts? I mean, sure, I guess, you know, there might be somebody out there that is, you know, interested in buying a painting of donuts. That, that's what they were looking for. But the chances are that, um, they, you know, of all the people in the world, that one person isn't going to be walking into the gallery that day to buy your painting. So, you're, you know, if, and if you're going to paint a painting of things, you know, what's the difference if you just take a photograph of those things and put it up as opposed to a painting? Why paint it if it's just going to be a thing? So the reason we paint things is because we have, uh, we see something that catches our eye and we believe as artists that we can put a twist on it, that we can make it look more interesting in our painting than it does in real life. And that is what we're trying to do. And the way we do that is by you know, uh, changing the colors, enhancing the the lighting effect, the you know, uh, really um, you know, building on the contrast and the lights. Um, it's the lighting effects that we're trying to to achieve. You know, we're trying to make the thing in our painting look more interesting. So uh, that's what we're going to try to do with uh, this light setup. So let's try to do that. So as you can see, I have the light shining on our donuts here, and it looks pretty cool. Um, I can move the light around and change how the light looks. And I'm, what I want to do is, you, you want to move the light around until you see something that is really, um, that catches your eye, and you say, wow, that's, that's it. That's the, best, that's the best situation that I, I, I want to paint that. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try to move this around and play with it. You know, we'll lower it. You know, maybe. Um, now this is looking really cool right here. The light is not directly on the donuts. It's actually pointing down, but you can see the bottom of the donut here and the, fr the white frosting is catching the light and the glaze on the top of this donut, the chocolate glaze, it's got like a nice reflection going on right here. I'm really liking the way that looks. That is nice. Also too, we have some light hitting our backdrop right here and we have a really nice dark area right here. Um, I think this light is really making these donuts look really cool. I would want to paint this. So it, it, notice it didn't take much to, to you know, just I didn't really have to move the light around too much to find something that I thought was really cool looking. I could still play around with it, but I'm really liking the way this looks right here. So I think I'm going to go with that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to take a picture of this setup um, in the same place where I'm going to be sitting and doing the painting. So I have my easel and everything set up right here and so I'm going to be sitting right here in front of these donuts so while I'm painting I'm actually looking right at them so I want to take a picture sitting in my chair of this setup and then what I like to do is I like to take um, when I take that photo I'll print it up and I'll look at the print and I'll use you know because a lot of times when you when you uh, print a picture there are some things in the picture that you aren't seeing um, in the real life setup. And you might want to take something from that picture and put it into your painting because you might think, well, that looks really neat in that, you know, the picture. So um, I like to utilize both. So let's do that. Let's take a picture of this setup and we'll see how that looks. So here's where I'm going to be sitting in front of, you know, I'm easel right here and I'll be sitting in front of this still life setup right here. So that's what I'll be looking at. So this is the angle that I'm going to be looking at it. So this is where the angle that I want to take my picture from. Keep it about eye level. So what I'm going to do now is I'll print this up and we'll take a look at the photo. And this will also give me some idea as to how I may want to crop my painting, you know, based on my uh, canvas size, 
you know, what do I want to include? I, I want more donut than I want anything else um, because this is, or that's not, I take that back, that might not be true. I might see something really cool in the background that I might want to have included in the picture with the donut. So I may have, you know, I may have to crop it when I'm painting it to include that if I think it's neat. So let's take a look at the picture and we'll see what we got. Okay, so I printed the picture. This is what we got. All right, now if you'll notice right here, there's a, like a, the, the way the camera took the picture, it doesn't, it's not in real life. When, if you look at the setup in real life, this, it's like got a huge glow on this part of the donut, which is cool. Um, I don't know if I like it. So I'm probably not going to incorporate any of that from this photo into my painting. I'll stick with what I'm seeing in real life and paint that. But looking at, you know, I got this picture here and I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know, I still think that there's, it could be more interesting. Something, we could do something else to this setup and maybe, maybe make it look better. So let me think for a second here. I think that it would be cool if there was a bite out of the donut. Not to mention the fact that I would really like to take a bite out of the donut. So I think, but having a picture of the donut with a bite taken out of it, or a, to have a painting, you know, with, you know, I think then when you know, when the person, the viewer is attracted to your painting because it's beautiful and the lighting effects are cool and that draws it to them, they'll look at it and go, oh, it's painting a donut. Oh, and somebody, somebody took a bite out of it. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Now I think we have a much more interesting painting. I think this looks really cool. The lighting is really cool on it. The bite out of the donut, that gives it more interest. Got a lot of contrast. We got the white from the cream. So that's the next thing you need to figure out. Um, well, it's not something you, you should figure out next. You should always have it in the back of your mind while you're setting up your stove is what is going to be your focal point? And I already know that the white cream is going to be my focal point. And here I have the way the light's hitting it. I have a shadow in the cream and I have an area of the cream that is hit by the light and it's really bright. And I think that's going to look really cool. And I'm going to try to paint that area. That's going to be my focal point. So that is going to be my center of interest. And then I'm going to have, I'm going to use the, the light reflecting off of the chocolate glaze on this donut as like a maybe like a secondary focal point and there is some cream over here so we could have almost have like a triangle effect here and I think that would that that's gonna work so I think that's what we're gonna go with okay so I printed up another picture of our uh, different setup though with the bite out of the donut and this is what we came up with and to be honest with you I really like the way it looks I think um, I think it shows a lot a lot more interest than it previously did. I still like the, the effect of the light on the glaze. That in the photo, it's really bright. It's almost the camera when it took the picture, it almost flared it out. Uh, in real life, it doesn't look anything like that. Um, so I won't be um, utilizing any of this. It's just too much. Um, I like the effect of the backdrop. There's a, a pretty, pretty washed out area here. Um, in real life, again, it doesn't look like that, so I'll dull that down um, based on, you know, so I'll go back and forth. I really like the effect, and you, I kind of see it in real life, but it really shows up more here in the picture. Um, uh, there's a dark area of the frosting, and then there's a real light area, and it really washed out the area here where the, the frosting is where I bit into the donut. And it doesn't look anything like this. Uh, that that won't be painted like this. It'll be painted what I'm seeing in real life. So I'm not going to be incorporating really anything too much from this picture into the painting. I'll just be basing my, my painting mostly off of what I'm looking at in life. And you should always paint from life whenever possible. 
but it never hurts to take a reference photo because like I said um, there might be something in the in the photo you think is really cool that's you, you don't see like for example um, I've taken pictures of a still life setup where I've had a candle lit well a candle in real life looks a lot different when you take a picture of it in the in a photo there's a glare and there's like you know like streaks coming off of it that actually looks cool and it it was something I I tried to incorporate into a painting and it looked really neat so it, but again you don't see that a uh, lighting effect in real life you just see the flame so you know I've done it both ways and uh, there's you know a lot to be said about you know either way you know it really depends on you know how your finished product is going to look so uh, that's where we're at and so now all we have to do is paint it and we'll do that in the next video we'll paint these bad boys and I'll show you how I'm going to paint those okay so thank you for watching um, if you like this video, uh, leave a comment, like, um, subscribe, and uh, we'll do the next video uh, painting these donuts. I'm looking forward to it. All right? Bye.